welcome back to tutorial number two in angular js and in this tutorial we'll be getting some hands-on to angular js so first of all what you have to do is you need to include a library or a framework of angular js which would give you the angular object to work with and you can do that by including your angular js file so this is the url i'm using ajax.google apis and this is a angular is a google hosted library so let's open this in the browser and you see here that this is the library code which is compressed code of angular js and you see that it's quite huge even it's compressed because this is a framework and if i remove the minified version then you can see the elaborated and the clean version and if you have got some time then go ahead and try to understand what's written here though it's not very necessary okay so once you have included this angular file we are good to go so angular basically how it works is that it's kind of different from the default jquery or javascript you have been writing so far all right so before even um, watching all these tutorials i highly recommend you that you are you're having a good knowledge in html in javascript and not to mention in css so we need these three languages perfect before we start working with angular okay so now once we have included this file we have got access to an object called angular and this angular ob uh, object is the core of this um, file so let's quickly write a hello world program in angular and then I'll show you what does that do so And let's say I create an input uh, type text here. All right, so we have got this page right here. Um, this little code where I'm doing three things which you have no idea what does that mean so first thing I have done is I have written a ng app attribute out of nowhere to HTML and what does that mean is um, ng every attribute starting with ng uh, right here indicates the keyword angular so ng basically stands for angular but obviously you can't use them uh, interchangeably you have to use ng and dash app now this app means that you are working with the app in angular and then you need to tell angular which app are you working with or basically where to start off the code in angular so uh, we'll be discussing about this ng app um, deeply in our later tutorials but just remember right now that we need this ng app for angular to know that where to start your processing of the special code we write in angular okay the next thing we have in the input type is ng model now there are many things in angular like directives your modules controllers filters which may sound confusing right now i know because the time i learned it it was uh, to me like that what the heck is going on and I usually get comfortable with any of the JavaScript library or framework quick often but with angular it took me some time to get familiar with the things going on so ng model is a kind of um, in layman's term it kind of attach whatever you type inside this input box to a special thing called I won't mention variable a special thing called name now this name whenever used in double curly braces would output your um, text you have written in this input box given that these two are inside your app directive so let's view it in the browser and here it is 
so we have got input type text oh this should be two I guess alright so we have got input type text right here and hello with nothing in front of it so once I type something you notice magically this gets automatically updated to this thing but in the HTML if you see then we have got this plain text which just says um, to print out two curly braces name and two curly braces so you know now that expressions in angular are evaluated using these two curly braces starting one then the name between or anything you'd like to have and the ending two curly braces so ng model attach this name one and sends all the values whenever this is updated to here or wherever this is used so you could actually use it a million times nobody's stopping you to do that and every time you write it all of these would get automatically updated so this is a kind of um, hello world tutorial to you guys and getting a little bit familiar with angular and don't worry about this ng app and ng model if you don't understand it exactly what this is and before ending this tutorial I could actually make your concepts a little bit clear with this ng app so let's say your ng app is right here and here and if I reload this our application still works as desired but what if I uh, remove this ng app completely from the code what happens then so now you see that instead of getting some blank space right here we are getting output as pure text we supplied in the HTML file so what's happening here is that angular do not know where to start its code processing from so ng app kind of gives angular a um, base code from where to start just like in um, C or C++ or in Java or any other programming language we have got the main function to start off to kick off the program similarly in angular we have got something called this ng app ng app attribute to start with and we'll learn about what we can give in the value as the quotes but let's keep those blank for now so that was a uh, hello world program with angular chairs and i hope you are liking angular chairs because we are gonna do a lot of fun with this bad boy so stay tuned with me till then and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you then